game two of the doubleheader last night with a home run, his fifth of the season, ended up hitting one in the first, one in the second, en route to an Astros 10-7 victory, taking three out of four against the New York Yankees tonight. They enter the city of Miami to take on the Marlins for the first of three. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Astros Baseball. Todd Callis alongside Jeff Blum. Blum are a really solid series in the Bronx, taking three out of four. Now a quick turnaround for the Marlins. Yeah, a little bit of a statement series up there in New York, but yeah, early morning call when they get in at 6 a.m. Hopefully these guys slept fast. BP was optional, which was a pretty good move. Yeah, BP's optional because a lot of guys are hitting BP during the games. A lot of guys are red hot right now. Yeah, you want to see those guys rake, and we know that they have depth in this lineup, but it's always interesting to me to see how many guys get on streaks, and all these guys, Springer, Gonzalez, Reddick, and Correa, all have six-game hit streaks going. Uh, George Springer going with that 13-game hitting streak. It's actually good to see these guys getting on the board, doing some damage, too. In that series up in New York, Correa, home run, five RBIs. Josh Reddick added that home run that you're seeing right here. But how about George Springer getting off that so-called schneid a little bit with those two bombs last night? Hopefully that power stroke and that hitting streak combined for a nice long series here in Miami. Four different players with a six-game hitting streak or better. Carlos Correa with that home run to right field in game one of the four-game set. For the Marlins, their outfield has a lot of talent. Yeah, these guys are good. They all came up together. It's interesting to see that these guys have been drafted and uh, developed through this Miami Marlins organization, but they've all played all over the outfield. These guys are interchangeable. Yelich is now moving from left field to center field. Does a good job of covering ground out there. Ozuna can, has a very good arm. And, of course, the one man that we always look to when he's in the box is Giancarlo Stan with that prodigious pop that he has. High exit below, good launch angles. Can turn this big ballpark into a postage stamp in a hurry. And his opponent today will be the Astros' big right-hander, Joe Musgrove. It is Musgrove's challenge to keep Stanton and others in the ballpark. We're getting ready for baseball on a Monday night in Miami as the Astros take on the Marlins right around the corner.